Hey guys, Julie here. I have Mr. Mookie, the chocolate lab here. He spent the last week with Gabby learning all of the important foundational skills. Waiting at thresholds, tone recall, stay, place command, down command, walk nicely, which is the heel command, how to ride in a car politely. And then we're gonna build on that here over the next two weeks, start to do some outings with him, add some distractions for proofing work. Um, I'm about to get him out of the car. We just had a wonderful half hour ride out to our house where he rode in the car in a downstay the entire time, which is how we like to ride in cars with dogs. It's the safest and it also keeps their mind nice and calm. And now I'm gonna show you how to get him out of the car. Um, the first rule is, is that when I open this door, he doesn't just come barreling out. And that's how we see a lot of dogs arrive to us on drop-off day. The owner can barely get the car door open before the dog is just lunging and falling out of the car. And then boom, they're right there at the end of a tight leash. So this is how we like to get dogs out of the car. I'm gonna open the door. And if I see him start to barrel out, that's when I can correct on the e-collar, get him back in, repeat the same trigger until he's waiting for me patiently, looking up at me for release to come out. We do this for a couple reasons. Number one, obviously safety. You don't want a dog who's just barreling out of car doors as soon as you open them. It could be in a busy parking lot or there could be cars driving around or could, there could be another dog. But secondly, and just as equally as important is the mindset. You wanna keep a calm mindset. You don't want an amped up dog right out the gate because then you're gonna struggle with them your whole entire outing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna hit the button, open the trunk, and we've practiced this a couple times and he's been practicing it all week with Gabby. But let me show you a lab, a chocolate lab who's not even a year old has learned to wait, be polite, hold commands, even in the face of distractions and things that once were triggers for high energy and high arousal. So we can get this. And remember, he's only been here a week and he's already learned car manners. Be polite, be in a down, wait to come out. And then when we say to let loose, yeah, you can go let loose. He has no problem with that. But I just thought I'd give you a little update on Mookie and his car manners and his threshold manners and his stay command. When I'm ready for him to come out of the car, then I can release him. We had this leash on a tie back on the carabiner right there. So I made sure to release that before releasing him or else he'd catch on it. But I'm going to say the word, I'm gonna say his name and then I'm going to say the release word, Mookie. Break, go, and then he gets out, and then he can explore and do whatever um, until I give him another command. What a good boy!